Okay, so all I have to say is if Angelina is going to be your new girl, like she's one of my friends, so all I have to say is if you're going to like say fly her out somewhere, like maybe like get her first class next time, like not like the back Holy of like fuck. the plane, like you can't bring any bags. Okay. And if you say you're going to give her like a Cartier bracelet, like you should give it to her and not take it back after when the camera stopped rolling. <laughs> You walked into this one, buddy. I mean, dude, you, did you really do that when you took her to Mexico God with you? damn it. Um, He's a faker. He's a phony. No, I'm not a phony. Okay. Well, How dare your... you expose that? <laughs> explain. I'm not, I am no phony. Explain yourself. What happened? Why'd you do that? No, no, I showed up. Um, I was on the phone with Mark Cuban. He just hit me up, invited me to his birthday. And... <laughs> Yo, I can't take you serious. What? We were on the phone. It's in the video, bro. I was talking to him. Okay. We were going deep sea fishing in the Keys, and... Okay. Uh, he hit me up, and I had this Cartier, and I didn't know it was Noel's first time in Mexico. Oh, okay. So I'd been drinking that day. We were in Mexico, and uh, in the back of my mind, it was like, damn, like, this would, I don't need this. It would look really good on her. Oh, and okay. And so it was like an instinct thing, like, this is in my pocket. Nothing was prepared. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, Cuban, wasn't one sec. planned, yeah. I hung up on Cuban for this. He wasn't you hung happy. up on Cuban for this. And uh, I opened it up, and was like, here, Noel, try this on. And her reaction was more like, no, not good enough for me. Let's say, no, this was it. Here, this is for you. And I was like, Steiny, no way. Like, I literally know that's not for me. Because I know you, you know? Well, you I was right. like, no way it was right. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that's for me. I was like, wow. But yeah, I knew once the camera stopped rolling, you're going to be like, by the way, I'm going to need that bracelet back. <laughs> that's not exactly what happened. I was going to let her keep it. But like, I just like people to appreciate things. Oh, oh I, I, I see what he's trying yeah. to do. Listen, I, listen, really I see what you're trying to do. But... I do appreciate things when they're actually for me, when it's actually a gift for me, you know? Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I would uh, I, I just didn't feel, I felt differently in the time. So if I, I sent some again, tension, you know, I sent some tension. Wait, I can't believe tension? you're trying to make it seem like that right now. There, wa there wasn't tension. Um, and then in, in regards to the flight, it would have been first class, but it was such a last minute thing. Only economy was available. <laughs> like we FaceTimed her the night before during a stream and we were like, Hey, do you want to come out here tomorrow? Yeah. And I told her, yo, pick any flight. I'll pay for it. Whatever. No, in, in all seriousness, so I didn't care that it wasn't first class. Yeah, no, she was, just, I was just making a joke. Yeah. But but yeah, no, I agree. I think if you're gonna fly a girl out, it's got to be first class. I, I don't. No matter what. Yeah. Even if you're like uncertain. Yeah. Because you would drop that bag regardless. I'm gonna tell you something I that I learned that. very quickly. Go ahead. I learned really quickly that in the very beginning, you kind of set those standards really high, and then once you can tell that they, <laughs> bro, I'm. T what, dude? As you set yourself up for failure, though. No, it doesn't. I'll, t I'll explain to you how, why. Okay. Because then once you become more, like, in the relationship with the person and that you become more comfortable with each other, their expectations will come down because they're not just there for that. I don't know. Playing I, checker. Or oh, you're playing checkers, I play chess. I think, I, think, I think the problem is, if we're talking about chess or checkers, if you go, if you give a girl, like, all this stuff, right, that you think she wants, you set the expectation really high, and then you take it away, she's going to be like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. More so than like, I mean, I think that the girls that I fly out and I don't know if you do this or have done it, but the girls you fly out probably expect that anyway, bro. Expect what? That like, kind of treatment. That kind of like money? Yeah. Like first class, no matter what? Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, I don't know who you're flying out, but maybe that's just the way they feel towards me if they're going to hang out with me. I but. think it's more so you see if you can trust them, <clears throat> you know? I like this And advice. then, you know, once you could trust them and you really like them, they really like you, then you start treating them to things. That yeah. Because if you give too much, I'm telling you, bro, and then you take it away. And they're going to take advantage of you. Yeah. Or she'll be like, why are you, like, maybe that's that's why she's there in the first place because she wants the shit. And then you start taking but it away. That's fine. It's like losing a, a little bet on a game. 